not very difficult to see while the coast and beaches are such a popular place to visit. There are a lot of recreational activities down here. And indeed, by the end of the 20th century, when the world's population was greater than 6 billion people, yeah, again, over 50% of those people lived within 60 kilometers of the coastline. And by 2025, it's predicted that there'll be more people living at the coast than were alive in the 1990s. It's quite staggering, the type of the amount of pressure that the coastlines are coming under. Not only for recreational purposes, but also for industry, um, exploitation, and so on. There's a wide variety of issues that the coastline and coastal managers have to deal with. Now, in some areas, such as here, which is at the Gold Coast, uh, south of Brisbane, in Queensland, Australia, uh, it's obviously a very uh, uh, nice environment for people to visit, and the, a, a big city has grown up right behind the coastline that uh, is here to service the tourist industry. Now, if we have a look along, we can see just how close the, the buildings are. They're really, really close, just behind this lovely beach and the dune system. Now, while that's great for uh, people in the hotels, they can just come straight out of the hotel, walk a very short way over the dunes and onto the beach, it does put people in direct conflict with the, with the coastline and with the sea. So much so that these uh, buildings and, uh, uh, and, and re resorts and so on are, are vulnerable from uh, inundation by the sea during storms and cyclones and, and maybe even tsunami on some coastlines. And that's been evident here within the last few months. Uh, I'm standing here in July 2009, and just a few months ago there was uh, an obviously big storm that hit this coastline that brought with it severe winds uh, and coupled with high tides brought the sea right up to the dunes. So much so that the, the, way, the storm waves eroded uh, a lot of the dune front, a process which we call scarping. And we can see that today just by looking along the dune front. Now, whereas these events, these, these storms and so on, have been a, uh, an infrequent occurrence in the past, with, the, uh, with climate change happening now and global warming and the rising of sea levels, um, there's, a, there's a possibility that those, that those water levels will get up higher more often. And more importantly, we're concerned with that with climate change, we'll see a higher incidence of storms and cyclones higher incidence, higher frequency, and, and also a higher magnitude, much more intense storm. And it, the fear of those, uh, the increase in frequency and magnitude of storms, which we fear may uh, have an impact on coastlines like this, they'll be battered by storms more often, and when those storms occur, they may be more ferocious. So, although this is a wonderful, wonderful place to visit on a day like today, for coastal managers, you, we need to bear in mind that this is a dynamic coastline. It, uh, is, it changes with the tides and with, with the wave conditions and so on, and indeed on a longer term it will change under climate change. And it's these developments that we see here today that we really need to sort of bear that in mind uh, when we make any uh, future uh, additions to wonderful places like this at the coastline.